If you travel 5,600 miles east of Moscow and visit Vladivostok, you will definitely enjoy the unique place where spotty rare cats live. The Amur leopard is listed as critically endangered on the IUCN Red List. In 2007, only 19 to 26 wild leopards were estimated to survive in southeastern Russia and northeastern China. The Land of the Leopards National Park was established in 2012 in the southwest region of Primorye, Russia. It includes Kashan, Nadezhdinsk and Usurysk areas, as well as a small part of the Frunzi district of the city of Vladivostok. It is the world's only wild population of the Far Eastern or Amur leopard and the task of the park is to preserve and protect the rarest large cats on the earth. The Land of Leopards National Park covers 280,000 hectares of taiga. Here you can find Kidrova Cedar Pad Reserve, Leopardova Reserve and other territories. The landscape is very beautiful and picturesque. It includes mountains reaching 1,000 meters, hills, plateau and valleys of the main rivers, the Amur Bay, the Sea of Japan, flat marshy plain and steppes. There are several zones in the land of the leopard. The protected zone of 80,000 hectares requires special access permit. Recreational zone allows more active tourism. The zone of economic development considers the interests of the people living on the territory of the park. You can go on guided eco-tours within the specially protected zone. Biodiversity of the park is unique. It is a habitat for Amur tiger, wild boars, badgers, raccoon-like dogs, bears, lynx, wild cats, foxes, squirrels and hackies, ungulates such as spotted deer, manchurian deer, roe deer, about 180,000 species of birds. Here young valuable species of Far Eastern salmon spawn, seems chum salmon, pink salmon and other salmon species. But the main resident here is of course the Amur leopard. The Amur leopard differs from other leopard subspecies by its thick, pale, cream-colored fur, particularly in winter. Its fur is fairly soft, with long and dense hair. In early 2000, there were about 30 individuals. In 2017, 84 adult leopards and 19 kittens were recorded. One of the tourist routes is called the Leopard Den. The path leads to a cave where a leopard once lived and similar to those where Far Eastern leopards breed their offspring. Traces of these cats can be found everywhere in the park. To create better conditions for these rare animals, part of Razdolne Hassan Highway went underground in a tunnel, so that leopards could walk safely without crossing the busy road. The park is equipped with cameras to follow the life and behavior of the leopards. After sorting hundreds of thousands of shots, the scientists identify each leopard according to a unique pattern of spots and stripes on their fur. Lately, one could see a mother leopard with three kittens, a rare number in leopards' offspring. The mother was a real heroine, feeding and taking care of her little babies, one of whom happened to hurt his paw. In winter, the food for leopards is scarce, because many mammals like badgers and rodents hibernate, going deep under snow. The only prey for leopards in winter is spotted deer, which is fast and alert and difficult to catch. Besides, other robbers, such as crows, griffons, foxes and hackies, constantly steal leopards' food. For a long time, the cameras showed only the mother straying lonely through taiga. And where are the babies? Did they survive? 
the environmentalists and researchers were worried. Luckily, in the end of winter, they saw one baby at first, and in spring, the other two appeared. Everyone survived, and even the kitten who hurt his paw. Good news, 